What's up, gang? Happy Thursday. Did you see my title? I'm gonna be talking to you all about why adjusting your macros and calories while you're losing weight is just dumb, dumb. And let me tell you, if you're watching this, I want you to share this video right now because this is a message that I have to get out to the masses. Um, this is something that I see so common in my, um, with my own clients. Um, and I saw it a lot. The reason why I decided to pick this topic to talk about this week is because I did um, a live training with my current lean clients and this question came up so often. So start a watch party so all of your friends and family can see it too. But here's the deal. People want that constant reinforcement that they're doing something right. And that's why you love the scale, okay? You want the scale to show you that eating healthy is what you should do, therefore you should keep doing it um, every single week. And remember guys, I hate the scale. The scale is not your friend, I'm here to tell you. So a common question I get from my clients, especially in that halfway point is like, Amanda, if we're not tracking our weight or you know looking at the scale every week, how do we know it's working? How do we know we don't need to make changes? You know, what's the deal? And here's my response to that question. Um, trust the process and give it time to work, okay? That's the bottom line. What we don't do is allow a program or again, like it's not radical, it's just healthy eating time to work like we want immediate results and if we don't see immediate results then we're looking for the great latest and greatest we're looking for the next quick fix so when you rectify your mindset and stop looking for quick fixes and recognize that focusing on whole food nutrition healthy eating it might not get you to your goal the quickest but it will get you to your goal and you know what it will get you to your goal and you'll be probably the healthiest you ever have been. More importantly, it's gonna keep you at your goal. So important, okay? Give me a thumbs up, give me your heart if you've already been working on that mindset shift in 2020. The mindset shift is in 2020, my resolution is to lose weight, eh -eh, that's not it. The mindset shift is in 2020, my resolution is to eat healthy. Because if that's your mindset and that's your goal, you'll see amazing results. So here's why constantly tweaking your macros and calories as you're losing weight is dumb. And you guys, I'm sorry, I don't like to sugarcoat things, okay? I'm just gonna tell it to you straight. Um, and you may like it and you may not. But let me give you a scenario, okay? So you're at, I don't know, 180 pounds, and you wanna lose 30 pounds, you wanna to get to 150, you set up your macros, and based on your height, weight, your age, your activity level, whatever, it says to reach 150 in a you know sustainable way, you get 1,800 calories. I'm just throwing numbers out there. Um, so you start macro management, you start managing your carbohydrates and making sure you get adequate protein and you know, looking to not significantly under eat or over eat, you know, you're kind of doing all the things. And the first week or two, you drop five or 10 pounds, you're pumped. You don't have someone educating you and you don't have someone giving you the information in terms of what to do as you lose weight. So you're going into your tracking app every week and you're updating your weight loss. And what's happening to your macros and calories? They're going down, okay? So every time that you update your weight or you show weight loss, um, in most cases, it tweaks your macros. So now you go from 1,800 calories down to 1,750, okay? Which, I mean, not a big deal. So then you, you know, you lose weight at, you know, now the next two weeks you, you eat 1,750 and you keep losing and you keep entering your weight and your weight, now your macros go down to 17. They go down to 16. So you're dialing down on your caloric intake. Here's the kicker. 
before you need to. That's the kicker. This is why you don't mess with your macros until you need to, okay? So this is how I explain it to my lean clients. And this is what I told them um, Tuesday night when we did my live call is, if you can lose weight at 1800 calories, we wanna maximize that. I want you to lose as much weight as you can at the highest metabolic capacity possible. Because if you're constantly dialing down on your, on your you know, macros, your calories, as you're losing weight, the minute you hit a plateau, what do we do? Then what do we do? You know, your calories are already so low, there's nothing to change. So what if we can lose 20, 30 pounds at 1800 calories? That's amazing. And guess what? You probably can, okay? But the problem is you don't have the guidance, so you want to enter that new weight and you want to eat less and less and less because everyone thinks that the less you eat, the more you lose. Eh, wrong, wrong, okay? It's really about macro management, insulin management, glucose management, priority before caloric management. And I think the biggest myth that a lot of people believe is that you got to starve yourself to be to be successful and you don't and that's not sustainable okay and just let me clarify fasting is much different than starving yourself but so in my seven week program i don't let you weigh and measure for seven weeks and that like literally like wrecks people's minds like they they are so addicted to the scale that they don't know what to do um but that's one of the really big reasons why we don't track progress for seven weeks. A, let's give it time to work, all right? So the other thing that was really funny in that week three call, I mean, week three, we're three weeks in, people. Amanda, you know, I did so well prep week. I lost a bunch of weight. I know I'm not supposed to weigh. Um, and pretty good week one, um, I saw a little bit of weight loss, but at the end of the week two, I hit a plateau and I didn't lose anything. So what should I change? That ain't a plateau, okay? Let me define a plateau for you. A plateau is no weight loss, no inches loss, no change in body composition, not for one week, not for two weeks, not for three weeks, but for four consecutive weeks. That's a plateau. Okay, not five days. That's not a plateau. And again, here's this person three weeks into eating healthy and she's already wanting to do something different. This ain't working. What do I do different? That's the issue, guys. Stop looking for the quick fix. Recognize that weight loss, it's not, it's not a ski slope. You know, sometimes you have to gain a pound to lose a pound. You know, you gotta gain two pounds to lose one. You gotta gain one to lose two. You know, I mean, it, it, it's up and down, it's up and down. So, so my, you know, tough love to her is like, sorry about your luck, that's not a plateau. What do you do? What do you change? Nothing. You know what you change? You stay off the damn scale is what you do. Because at the end of seven weeks, her body's going to have responded. And, and, and I love, it's, it never fails. My, the Ask Amanda feature in the app blows up at the end of week, week, end of week two, week three. My emails blow up. It's not working. Well, yeah, because you lost five pounds in the first two weeks. Okay, your body's leveling out. You're not gonna lose five pounds every week. And if you lost five pounds in the first week, guess what? You're five weeks ahead of schedule. So I really want you guys to recognize that, you know, if you are managing macros and if you are, you know, doing this caloric game, which I think is super valuable, um, nutritional awareness is powerful, okay? We don't recognize in, in a lot of cases what we're consuming. You know, when I say the average American eats 400 to 500 carbs a day, people are like, no, not, not me, you know? Um, and then they, you know, go to McDonald's and grab a sweet tea and, and it's 75 grams of carbs, you know? So, um, that tracking piece can be super valuable for so many people, just really eye opening. So I love that portion of the lean program, <clears throat> but 
you want to maximize your weight loss at the highest caloric level, okay? So if you started at 1,800 calories, I want to go as long as I can. Then once we hit a plateau, you know, then we got something to change, okay? We can drop you down to 1,700 calories. Now, try that, and you'll probably, the weight loss will pick up again. Um, and then once we hit another plateau, we'll make more tweaks. Um, and I'll tell you, you know, when, when my clients hit a plateau, I don't always go directly to calorie changes, you know? Um, when you're a petite person, you know, under 5'2", um, and, you know, you're only eating like 12 to 1,400 calories, that's not a lot, guys. Like, I, in my mind, that's not sustainable. So I want to make sure that my clients have sustainable macro goals. And I'll have clients that reach out to me and go, Amanda, this is, this is fine and I'm doing okay right now, but I don't see me sustaining these low macros. And I'm like, let's change it because we've got to make it work for something that you feel is sustainable. And we can make a couple of tweaks, give you more to work with so that you feel like it's something that you can continue to do forever. Because what's, what's my t-shirt say? What's my t-shirt say? Whatever you do to lose the weight, you better be prepared to do to keep it off. Um, so that's really the key. So I would love to see your questions on this topic. Like, do you change change up your calories and macros as you're seeing weight loss? Um, let me answer those for you. Please share this video with your friends and family because I know that they are out there. There are so many people out there doing it on their own, which kudos to those people. But I want to make sure that they're not sabotaging themselves prior to actually, you know, reaching a plateau, okay? So resist the urge to dial down on your macros, on your calories before you need to, before you need to. Now, if you're like, uh, if you started off, you know, the 1st of January feeling good on track and you already are feeling a little derailed as we roll into the end of January, I can help you. I'm telling you what will set um, lean apart from anything you've done is that daily support and accountability. It makes the biggest difference. Give me some thumbs up. Give me some hearts about that. I'm really excited because I have a huge session of clients that are right in that midpoint and they are crushing it. So really excited to see those. I do have a session starting on Monday. So that's exciting too. I love you guys. I hope you found this information beneficial. Again, share if you, if you did, because I know it can help other people's. Peoples, other peoples. Yes, I got great English over here. Happy Thursday. Talk to you later.